Uh, yeah, I need to see about getting a pickup truck and a gooseneck trailer towed. This, this is good. This is very good. Nice. This is a 1997 F-250 with a 5.8 liter gasoline engine and a blown head gasket. This truck got towed in a few days ago. This is my personal truck. Uh, we were using it to haul the Ram 2500 home that we're rebuilding, but we didn't quite make it here. That's actually the third time I had to have this vehicle towed in the last last few weeks. The first time was on account of a fuel pump, which wasn't that bad. A couple of guys just literally dragged it to a gas station so I could put gas in the other tank. Uh, second time was a bad ignition module. I had one here at the house to fix it with. And the third time, well, third time's a charm. Uh, about this time last year, I actually pulled the engine out of this pickup and did the long tube headers you see there, did some upgraded ignition components that you can see there. I also did a rear main seal, an oil pan gasket, head gaskets, and new heads. Now when I pulled this engine last time there were no problems with the heads or head gaskets, but I upgraded from the factory E7TE heads that came on this truck to the GT40P heads that were offered on some higher performance engines in like the Ford Lightning pickups and things like that. I got my particular GT40P heads out of a junkyard. I paid $60 for a pair of heads and then I paid another $600 to have a machine shop go through them, check them out, make sure they weren't cracked or anything like that. However, after installing those heads is when I began to have some issues. Now, to be fair, I'm not easy on this truck. I mean, you guys have seen us towing hay with it. You've seen us move the 6410 with it. You've seen me move all kinds of things with this truck, and I'm really, really pushing this small block engine, especially at almost 8,000 feet elevation. Uh, there's, you know, it's, it's kind of gutless, but it does do what I need to do. Yes, there are advantages to having a newer pickup or a diesel pickup, something like that. Long story short, that's probably not happening for a while. So, we're repairing this thing. Now, the reason I mentioned my junkyard heads is because that's when I began having problems. Yes, I had them checked out. The machine shop said everything was in good shape, but I do wonder if there wasn't something that was possibly missed. So because I don't want to send these heads out, uh, I do suspect they have a problem, and it will take about six weeks to go to the local machine shop and get checked out and get back. Uh, I purchased a replacement set of E7TE heads. These are rebuilt heads. They have gone through a machine shop. They've had a three-angle valve job done, new guides, new springs, the whole nine yards. I've got them sitting in the floor here. So the goal, the plan and the goal, is to strip this bad boy down, pull the old heads off, put new head gaskets and new heads on, and put it all back together. Then I'm going to send these GT40s back through the machine shop if they are good, I will, you know, throw them up on eBay, resell them. Somebody out there would love to have them, I'm sure. If they're not good, well, it only cost me a few bucks to get them checked out at a machine shop, and I have new factory heads on the truck, and the truck is I running. I worked on this for a little while last night after the camera battery died. You can see I've got the valve cover off. I've got the uh, rockers completely loosened over here, working on loosening them over here. Water pump is off, radiator's out. Um, I'm doing a new water pump and a new radiator because those are relatively inexpensive parts compared to everything else. I think the water pump was like 30 bucks and the radiator was about 100 To me, it's worth it to do that just so I have some insurance and some, uh, you know, I just feel better about it. So, so here we go. Uh, you guys are watching me right here. I'm still pulling the old heads. I'm going to be putting the new ones on here in a second, but... This was not the only project I took on with the, uh, with the F-250 this last few days. Like I mentioned before, I did pick up some doors, so I replaced the doors. Uh, my driver's door is no longer smashed from that little incident with the gooseneck trailer a few months ago. And my passenger door, the old one had a dent right under the window, and the new one doesn't. So, that's cool. I also cut, it, cut out and completely replaced some rusted floorboards. 
Uh, glad to have that done, but that got a little out of control too, because by the time I finished doing it, I realized, well, you know, I've got all the interior out, and I've got the carpet out. Well, mine had rubber, and I had to cut it to get it out, actually, because it was trashed, but... Now is an excellent time to do the same thing I did to my 94 F-250 and add some sound deadening material. So I ordered a bunch of sound deadener today and it should be coming in. I should be getting it toward the end of next week so you guys can look forward to a video of installing the sound deadener in the truck. Uh, if you're into audio stuff it might be kind of interesting but I'm doing it just for a general reduction of road noise and to make that thing a little nicer to live with because I do expect to have it for quite some time. A little while ago, I also picked up a new, well, new to me, junkyard interior. Uh, the interior in mine was replaced at some point. I don't know when. You can tell it came from the factory with brown, and it was replaced by that kind of dark blue, which, you know, I don't care one way or the other. But the problem is, when they installed the new interior, the blue one, they really didn't do a very good job. So the mounting brackets were pretty jacked, the floor was pretty wrecked, and the seats themselves were pretty bad. So I grabbed, I got really lucky and found an F, a 95, 96 F-150 in a junkyard that had the, I can't I don't know my F-150s, it might have been a Lariat, but either way, it had a power driver's seat and all brown cloth interior, so I pulled all of that stuff, that's going in. I've got a new vinyl floor coming for it. Uh, that will go down on top of the sound deadener. So that stuff is coming up. I'm going to be back on the fencing project this week. I should have parts showing up for the post hole digger. And tonight I'm getting ready to carry the Ram 2500 down to the frame shop literally as soon as I finish editing this video. So you guys can look forward to seeing the frame video on that truck coming up uh, either later this week or hopefully next week because we need to get it done. the exhaust still which you can probably hear under the passenger side but I'm gonna call this one fixed for now I gotta get the seats in it I gotta get a door on it hood back on then we gotta get the ram loaded up and this thing's maiden voyage with new heads is gonna be hauling that Dodge to a frame shop so subscribe if you want to see that thanks for watching and more later <laughs>